Thinking about going to Salzburg, Austria? What is the best time to visit Salzburg? Where to stay in Salzburg? How to get around the city? Hi guys, I'm Rock and I spent last 8 years traveling around Europe as a tour guide. I was recently in, you've guessed it, Salzburg and I want to share with you my travel tips to help you have the best Salzburg experience. Salzburg is located on the foothills of the Alps where they have four seasons. Winters are cold with daytime temperatures around minus 6 or 20 Fahrenheit. There is a lot of snow and some attractions and tours completely shut down for winter. This is the time of the low season. Christmas markets are exception as they draw many visitors to the city of churches. Spring is slow to warm up. Temperatures can be chilly and showers are frequent. Daily highs in April are around 10 centigrade or 50 Fahrenheit. The later in spring you go, the more pleasant weather will get. That is why I would recommend you May and June when temperatures, prices and number of visitors gradually rise and all attractions and tours open up. Summer is the peak of tourist season when temperatures are around 25 centigrade or 75 Fahrenheit. This is perfect time to walk around the city with mostly sunny days and occasional showers. There can be very few hot days when temperatures rise to 30 centigrade or 85 Fahrenheit. On the other hand, crowds are the greatest and prices the highest as summer is also the time of festivals and outdoor events. Despite greater chance of showers, I would also recommend second part of September till the end of October as temperatures and number of visitors are dropping but weather is still nice and warm to walk around. Austria is one of the safest holiday destinations in the world and Salzburg is no exception. Salzburg is a small city with about 150,000 people with no street violence. Mugging and kidnapping do not happen and the risk of terrorist attack is very low. The city is also safe at night. Hotels, private accommodations, restaurants and other services embraced all necessary precautions to minimize the risk of infections. In previous years, Salzburg was crowded and that attracted pickpockets, but the situation was not bad. With less crowds expected in the near future, the risk will be further reduced. Public transportation and taxis are also safe and reliable. Official language spoken in Salzburg is German, although local population speaks a dialect. English is the most common foreign language and is widely spoken. All restaurants have English menus and all tourist attractions have English signs in this place. Major international airports in Vienna and Munich are only 2 to 3 hours away using public transportation, but Salzburg also has its own airport, second largest in Austria, that is well connected to larger European cities and international hubs. Airport is only 10 to 15 minutes from the city center and can be easily reached by taxi or bus. Taxi from the airport to the city center should be about 15 euro. Bus departs every 10 minutes and costs 2.5 euro. With Salzburg card, the ride is free and you can get it at the airport at Reiswelt Travel Agency. If you want to learn more about Salzburg card, Check my video about Salzburg prices in the top corner. Salzburg also has great domestic and international rail connections as Salzburg main station is the most important rail hub in Western Austria. From Vienna to Salzburg, train takes about two and a half hours and costs 30 euro. Good place to find train ticket connections to other major European cities is raileurope.com. Train station is about 20 minute walk from historic city center, but I would advise against hauling your luggage to and from the train station by foot, as almost all bus lines are connecting train station with the old town. Salzburg is also well connected to international motorways. To use motorways in Austria, you need a valid vignette sticker on your vehicle that can be purchased on every gas station. The drive from Vienna will take about 3 hours, while drive from Munich is only one and a half hour. Now we will look at four neighborhoods with different charm and advantages that are the best areas to stay in. The Old Town is the oldest part of Salzburg that used to be surrounded by the city walls. It spreads under Salzburg Fortress between Mürzberg Mountain and Salzach River. 
The entire neighborhood is a UNESCO World Heritage Site where you'll find most tourist attractions, best restaurants and best shopping street. This is pedestrian only area where everything is within a walking distance. If you don't mind walking and you can afford high accommodation prices, this is the great area to stay as you can really soak up the Baroque charm. On the other side of the river opposite to the old town is the new town. It stretches between Kapuzinberg mountain and the main train station and it was developed in the 19th century. That is why this is very different area than tightly packed old town. It has spacious villas, parks, gardens and many hotels from luxurious to regular ones. The most notable attractions are Mirabel Palace and Gardens and Mozart Residence. Newtown is great as the old town is within a walking distance and the neighborhood is more convenient as you can go around using buses and cars. Mühle neighborhood is located north of the old town, separated only by the Münchberg mountain. This is the oldest suburb of the old town that got its name after many mills which have all disappeared today. The main attraction is the Augustiner Brau Klöster, one of the oldest breweries in Austria with the biggest beer garden. I would recommend this neighborhood as I believe it offers the best value for money. To get to the old town, you can use public transport or enjoy scenic walk along the river. Further downstream, on the right bank of the river and north of the train station is Elizabeth Vorstadt area. This is the best area for budget travelers as it's becoming more and more popular. To get to the old town, you will have to use public transport. But before we look at ways of getting around Salzburg, you can check my video about accommodation and other Salzburg prices in the top corner. To get around the old town you'll have to walk as it is a pedestrian only area. The only exception is a horse and carriage ride. To get to the old town you can use buses and taxis. Uber is available but is not widely used. Public transport includes electrically powered trolleys on bus lines 1 to 14 and regular buses on other lines. Buses run from 5 am to about 10 pm on every 10 to 15 minutes. Single tickets as well as 24 hour tickets are cheaper if you buy them in advance at one of numerous kiosks throughout Salzburg. But keep in mind that you must stamp your ticket the first time you board the bus. If your ticket is not validated, you can get a fine of 85 euro and you'll have to deal with the police. You can also buy tickets at the driver, but in that case it's gonna be a bit more expensive. Almost all bus lines go to Ferdinand Hanusch Platz a main bus station in the old town by the river between the two bridges. This is the best bus stop for exploring the old town and it also has ticket vending machines. You can also download Salzburg Transportation mobile app that allows you to buy tickets and offers a useful interactive map of bus stops and timetables. Taxis are a popular way of getting around as they work 24-7. Taxi tariffs are set by the city and are controlled by taxi meters. Salzburg also has unconventional transportation like the oldest Austrian funicular to the fortress that has been running since 1892. Different tickets are including a round trip and a visit to the fortress. After closing time of the fortress, you can also get only one-way funicular ride for 3.2 euro or a return journey for 5 euro. With Salzburg card, funicular rides as well as entrance to the fortress is free of charge. On the other side of the old town is a lift that takes you to the top of Münzberg mountain. The entrance to the lift is elegantly hidden in one of the houses built into the mountain cliff. One-way ride is 2.7 euro while a return ticket is 4 euro. You can also get a combined ticket with entrance to the Museum of Modern Arts that's located on the top of the mountain. When walking on famous Getridegasse shopping street, you can considerably shorten your walk around the old town using through houses. These are public passageways under houses that are connecting parallel streets. There are 13 through houses of the Getridegasse. In this unique passageways, you will find shops, restaurants and bars. If you have tough time figuring out Salzburg souvenirs for your family and friends, you should get the Mozart Kugeln or Mozart Ball. 
They are a big thing in Salzburg as stores dedicated to this chocolate are all over the old town. There are 13 different brands, but if you go for the original one, it is warped in silver and blue tin foil and can be purchased in Fürst Café where it was invented. It's also good to know that all shops are closed on Sundays and during the week they close already at 6 pm. If you need some more information about Salzburg, check out this great official Salzburg tourist website. If you wonder what to do in Salzburg, check out my top 10 Salzburg video in the top corner. Please share your questions and your tips and tricks about Salzburg in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss my future travel videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.